Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick drive with the new FSD 12.3.3 build. This is the new supervised version of the full self-driving by Tesla. So we're going to do a quick drive to Chipotle and see how this goes. Navigate to Chipotle, Clinton. Now turn right to stay on Keystone Avenue. Okay, it's going kind of fast right here. Alright. So we have our first stop sign. So it's a bit occluded because uh, of that bush to the left. So it's kind of cautious here. But it's clear. So we should go now. That's good. Got a metal truck. Now turn on the right side. Into Brandywine Road. All right, this should be a relatively easy turn as well. Another right turn. So it's stop, full stop. So it just has to inch forward to get bit better vis visibility. So it's clear on my left. So it should be able to go now. Uh, it's cautious, very cautious. All right, that was nice. Nice takeoff, nice and smooth. Um, so one thing I like about this version as well is the new auto max speed uh, which lets the car determine the best speed that it should travel at based on like the road conditions and traffic around it. So this is, this is a nice comfortable speed, 42 and a 35. Um, people usually drive pretty fast on this road, but I, I, I like this speed right now. So this should be relatively simple, straight ahead, um, pretty much straight. You just gotta go through three lights and then we're gonna make a right turn. Um, we'll see on our way back, I'll try to add some additional um, waypoints to just give it more of a challenge. So a little bit of an indecisiveness there. It was about to get into the right lane, but then it changed its mind and stayed in the left lane, which is good. So this lane up ahead, it turns into a merge only lane. So it needs to stay in this left lane to go straight through this light, which it's switching over to the right lane for some reason. Um, so we'll see. If it does stay in this lane, once, once it gets up there, it's gonna have to merge back over to the left lane. And people sometimes think that you're trying to pass them, so they speed up. So it should merge over now, it's because the lane's ending. That was good. So I'm gonna see if I can, actually no, I'll just stick to the route that I recommended. This might be one of my favorite features of FSD is just the full visual, uh, visualization of the cars and obstacles around it. It really adds more confidence um, to the system, knowing that like it, it can see all the stuff around it. Now turn right onto Woodyard Road. Nice steady right turn, very smooth, nice acceleration. That's one thing I've noticed about this build. It seems more, more confident in some of this, some of its decisions, and others it might be a bit timid. So here it's, this is this is one of those things where it's kind of indecisive, where it's kind of like swerving in and out of the lanes, not sure whether to change lanes or not. But anyway, I find this this version very, um, it drives like a like a regular person. Like, if someone was tailing me behind, they would not know whether or not the car is driving itself or someone else is driving. So let's go up to the light and make a left turn here. Hopefully, okay. So we'll probably have to yield to traffic or we can wait for the next left turn here. But I think it should clear up soon and we should, we should be able to make our left turn but it is almost rush hour so 
Okay, so we might have a gap here. It should go, 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 go. Don't stop, don't stop. All right, that was good. A little bit of jerkiness in the wheel, but not bad. Okay, so it's turning here. Okay, it shouldn't turn here. It should turn up ahead. Go past this car. All right, I'm gonna disengage because um, the navigation is kind of making me go in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna turn right here and let's see what the auto park is like up here. So the way the auto park works is as you drive below, I guess, 10 miles an hour, you'll see they will highlight the optional spots that they can park Man, at. Your destination so is there's a left. spot right here to the left. So if I choose it, stop, click start. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Should be able to finish, uh, complete this in one shot. No adjustments needed. Cool, that's perfect. So you can imagine, you can put in your destination, car will get there, you choose a parking spot and it'll park itself. All right, so let's get some Chipotle and then we'll come and do the second leg of the trip. All right, so we just got our Chipotle. So let's head back home, see if we can navigate out of this parking situation. Yep, I'll take that. So this lady wants our spot. So turn right, turn right, turn right. Okay. I have to disengage there. So the lady um, that was in front of us wanted to take our spot, so she kind of blocked. Um, the car wanted to turn left, so I just had to take over and let her have that spot. Anyway, no biggie. That's why it's a supervised system. So this one might be a bit difficult. So we're clear on the left, but the right, there's a lot of cars coming, but we have to like inch forward to actually get in. Otherwise people aren't gonna let us people aren't gonna let us in. Alright, so after this car after this red car it should go. Otherwise we're gonna be stuck. If we if it doesn't go I'm gonna have to push it. Go, 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 go. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Seems very natural. Alright, so we can go around to the right to go straight. Uh, I think, oh, my Chipotle just fell over. Sorry for the noise. All right, so I think we should be able to go around this car to get into the right lane. It is kind of tight, so the car is a bit cautious, but it has space to go. Um, yeah, I might nudge it a little bit just to give it some confidence because it has space to get around these cars. So it is raining a little bit. It's sunny and raining, which is kind of weird. Um, but hey, so what do we got? So it changed the route. So let me, I don't think we can turn left here. Cool, okay, no, no. All right, we'll just, we'll just stick to this route. So this is gonna go through the neighborhood up here. Um, and there's gonna be an unprotected left turn once it's exiting this neighborhood. So we'll see how that how that goes. So there's a narrow road, it has some um, speed bump, so it slowed down for the speed bump pretty naturally. And there's another speed bump up ahead here. Okay, so giving that guy enough space. Okay, slowing down for the second speed bump. For some reason, the auto wipers are acting kind of funny. I guess it's confused that it's sunny and rainy. Okay, one more speed bump here. 
So I, I like I like how it slows down for the speed bumps. It's not like it doesn't slam on brake brakes to slow down for the speed bump. It just, just kind of naturally gets up to it naturally slows down to the speed bump, and once it gets past it, it picks up speed, which is nice. It's very natural. But some this, these speed bumps aren't like the big speed bumps. They're kind of like um, they're not that high up. So a lot of people just like fly through these speed bumps. Like they go fast over them. So like this guy behind me is getting pretty close. <laughs> um, I think I think the Tesla's doing it right. Like you gotta slow down for these speed bumps. It doesn't matter if they're big speed bumps or little speed bumps. Okay. Nice acceleration. So we're coming up on the unprotected left turn. Um, it should stop, inch up forward, just enough for it to get some visibility on the traffic coming from the right. They, they are coming pretty fast. Um, the left, I'm not too concerned because uh, you can see them pretty far out. But the right, there's like some trees and stuff, so it's kind of hard to see. Now turn left onto Brandywine Road. Okay. So we're gonna make our full stop at the stop sign. That's good. Okay, so this person is turning left. We have to just wait, be patient. Mm, don't inch up, don't inch up. Just stay, stay, stay. Stay where you are, stay where you are. Okay, cool. Okay, this guy waved us on. And the car took it. Nice, nice, nice. That was good. <laughs> oh, that was cool. The guy that was going to turn left, he waved us on to go. And the car saw that he stopped and just went through. Which is nice. We just a straight shot till we get home. So this should be easy for it. So let me see if I can um, add a U-turn. That would be pretty cool. I have to find a cul-de-sac. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Killarney Street. Okay, we're going to turn left on... I don't really know if this is a cul-de-sac or not, but we'll see. Now turn left onto Killarney Street. I just want to see what it will do if like it reaches like a dead end if it's able to turn around mm, yeah I have a feeling it won't be able to turn around now turn left onto Wesley Park Drive Let it trip. And once it turns left here we are going to now your destination is on the left. Now make a U-turn to stay on Ursula okay. Park Drive. Cool. So I think it should... Okay. So let's see what it does here. So it's going wide, wide. Okay, it's making a U-turn. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. All right. Keep going. Keep going. You got space. Nice. Nice. Now turn right onto the cool. Street. I like that. We're headed back to our original destination. Uh, we got that one out of the way. So it's doing the, the right turns pretty good. The unpro unprotected left turns pretty good. It did the U-turn. U that, was, that was phenomenal. Um, it handles the stop signs pretty good as well. It handles speed bumps good. What else? I think the only thing we haven't done yet is like the, the highway driving. So there are some people on the right here just as to... Okay, we got scared by that lady. She looked like she was gonna walk into the road, but she was just trying to get into her car. I don't know why the car freaked out, but better safe than sorry. I, I think this is a good build to show off the potential for you, for full self-driving to people that are new to it. Okay, nice smooth left turn into the neighborhood. Got another left turn here. 
and we're golden. So as you saw, the car drove us to Chipotle. We just had a few disengagements just to get into the parking lot and exiting the parking lot. Um, this person has a stop sign and it did not stop. Okay. Now your destination is on the left. Okie dokie. Well, that will conclude the video. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And if you have any video suggestions or things you want me to demo using full self driving, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. All right. Peace out.